Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. Well, I'm back in black. <clears throat> Some of you might recognize this, the Mini Gemmer. And uh, we've been shooting a lot of smokeless stuff and <coughs> I just felt like shooting some black powder. So I'm trying to group some of these 429 grains that are black powder loads. I need to work with this rifle a little bit, but I just felt like shooting it today. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, um, I got some cool stuff going on in the shop. <clears throat> uh, why don't you guys come on in? I'm going to shoot a few more rounds here and see what this group looks like. Let's go into the shop. I'll show you what I got going on in there. Then we'll have to clean this thing, you know. That's all part of the game. Okay. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I kind of started without you here. Um, we got our reamer in, so I've been taking this thing apart. <clears throat> I got my Sharps action wrench. This is the mild action wrench. Uh, this is a piece of wood that fits in that. Fits in that Sharps action just about perfect for tightening it up into the into the lathe. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in the lathe. Get the uh, get the action off it and uh, before I go any further I want to measure that um, make sure it's the right reamer get out my caliper and measure it up and, and make sure it's uh, they didn't send me the wrong one or or it's cut wrong or whatever and, uh, they also gave me they also sent me a couple of uh, headspace gauges so all right. So uh, I need I need a cartridge. So we know it's two and a half. So we know it's two and a half length. Let's measure that first. That would be from here. So. We got to measure the length, and that would be from the edge of the deal. So it's okay. It's just before. It's two and oh, it's about fifteen thousandths from two and a half. So that's and that's part of that's because I can't get my thing right where I want it. The other part of that, there we go. That's more like it. It's um, 25 thousandths from being two and a half. That is just about the thickness. That thickness is in there for the uh, rim. Now, let's see, this is going to be an important measurement. That is I'm measuring around the mouth of the case. Let's see, and there's the mouth of the case. So, that's five, five, four, five. Okay, that gives me a five thousandths clearance. And let's see, that was around the mouth of the case talk about the base here now. And that is five, 556. Straight, a couple of thousands. So it's the right reamer, it's the right okay. size. Well, so you decided to hang around to see how bad I can screw this up, huh? Well, you gotta hang around and get some coffee. This is a coffee job. So, first I wanna put some paper in here so I don't mar this barrel any worse. Uh, 
Gonna have to open that up a little. First thing I got to do with this thing is get it in there and then yank the yank the action off. So. It is. That went too easy. <laughs> That's going to be kind of scary. Okay, so off this comes. There we go. Now, I got my Two of them here. Let's use this one. I think this one's pretty close. There we go. So this will take a minute. Okay. So you can see the dial on that dial indicator just about perfectly still. It's not jumping around. Same as on the other side. Okay guys, I got the reamer mounted now. This one, like I say, is a uh, floating, floating head reamer, which that's okay. <clears throat> We're all ready to go. Um, got my, I'm set up for reamer cut 60, 60 RPM. Um, I got some really good thread cutting oil here for uh, lubricating and uh, it's supper time so I think that's it I've got this ready to go for tomorrow and uh, that's what I'm gonna do okay guys you caught me I can't wait anyway I started uh, cutting this so um, go grab a cup of coffee we'll have an evening cup of coffee get you a cup of coffee and let's cut this uh, let's cut this chamber and ream it out Cleans 
out the powder with that 400 foot off. Boy, is that shiny. So, and then uh, I'll try a uh, cartridge and it goes right in. Perfect. And just a little tight. Uh, what I found <clears throat> was um, I made these cartridges without a without a chamber to test them in, and uh, they're just a little long. So I pushed them down, and they go in. And my uh, go gauge was fine. And then see, just a regular cartridge goes in. This one's not been squished yet or resized so okay so that was a bit of a challenge in that extractor that extractor fitted but here is a loaded round goes in closes of course it don't stay closed because I put the spring on there um, and I believe it has absolutely zero head space. So, yeah, like I say, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a fight getting that in there. I used the mill to cut the groove, and then I did the rest by hand. Okay, guys, it's um. Really good. Well, I got that chambered, got everything done. Um, I got I put the spring on here for the lever. I had to dovetail a block in there. I've got to make another one um, so that I can dovetail it in and then this needs to be screwed in. This is going to be what I'm working on. What happened though, I did shoot this yesterday uh, just with a couple black powder loads <clears throat> and um, just to see and I had no pressure problems, no other but what I did have happen is this stock must have had a hairline crack in it because this piece broke off. And so I've glued it down and when it dries I'm going to pin it. And so that'll probably be on another video and I'll make sure I film it so you can see how I fix cracks in the stock. <clears throat> anyway, but I, I glued, the piece came off so I glued it on and uh, which that's no big deal. Glued it, clamped it, but I gotta wait like 24 hours, and then I'm. It's gonna be a really tough deal too, because I'm gonna have to angle that pin so it goes down into the meat and stays out of this spring um, place where the spring lives. So it's gonna be a little tough. And worst comes to worst, I guess I'll try to find another one, but I think that one's salvageable. Um, yeah, it shot fine. Man, I'll tell you, I've got one, I had one round loaded up at a 5100, and, I, and the other one was loaded up with a 5110 load, and both were with this uh, 425 grain bullet that we've been casting. Uh, didn't have any, any functional problems. Boy, does she boot with black powder. <laughs> this might be one of them deals where you have to load smokeless powder so your shoulder will let you shoot it a little bit more because... You don't have to put as much smokeless in. Black powder, you got to fill the case up. Anyway, that's all I got this time. Uh, I'm Buckskin Dave. Thanks for dropping by. And you guys have a great deal. Jesus. You guys have a great day. And stay safe. Bye-bye.